Hi, this is Hello. episode um, yeah. 21 of Tri City, isn't it? 21? Yep. I, you, you, you did keep track. I, I keep track because I put them when I upload them. Anyways, right. yeah. we are a knitting podcast from um, Vancouver area in Canada, um, but we actually reside in the, one of the Tri Cities. So um, that's why we call ourselves Tri Cities, in case you didn't know. So join us. If you're the first for the first time, welcome. If you are a continuing viewer, thank you for joining us again. I'm Natalie and I'm Jenny. And we're gonna talk about Knit City that's coming in two weeks from today. Yeah, time flies so fast. So it was when we started this podcast. It was just uh, the last yeah. year Knit City. It was her now, idea, actually, the podcast. Yeah. Despite of me doing most of the talking. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you I give a good idea and then other people implement it. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, we're, we're just, you know, the, we're just overwhelmed how, how fast the time flew. We, you know, like it's, oh, it doesn't even seem like September. Honestly. Yeah, we have a very nice uh, weather, still warm, we're still sitting outside, uh, I, I put Wearing some t-shirts, shawl, but, yeah. but uh, <coughs> I don't yeah. think this um, really necessary because it, it's it's a warm, warm evening. Speaking of which, should I take my, maybe I didn't take off my, my finished object, it must be in the kitchen. Uh, <coughs> uh, so go, Yeah, and uh, you can talk in the meantime, I need to get it because... Uh, Grab the I, need to I don't my... have any finished object unfortunately but I'm busy doing uh, my sweaters I got a bunch of yarn from our local dyers and not so local so anyway I'm knitting 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 and uh, not FO yet but it's gonna be soon hopefully on Knit City I can wear uh, one of my new sweaters or new shawl or uh, I don't know. Uh, so anyway, it's uh, about two weeks. Uh, before I'll get it later. You this, I've find... been locked out, and my son is sitting there. And so if I uh, if I yeah. ask him to unlock, he's gonna join us on our podcast. I don't think anyone's gonna like that because he's a very chatty four year old. I actually I picked um, um, <laughs> iPad from my daughter. She was not um, home yet, and I met her in a village uh, in the Como Lake village. Mm -hmm. It's in Coquitlam area, and a um, bunch of boys uh, from her class was with her, and um, she said, "Oh, it's just my mom picking my iPod uh, to yeah. um, making podcast." And one of the boys said. Oh, Tri City Neat Podcast. I said yes. Oh my God! <laughs> Are you interested? Wow, is he a knitter? Uh, no. How does he know? I don't know. Obviously, they maybe <laughs> they maybe she us. told them. No, I, I, I'm sure they're making fun of us. But anyway, yeah, we are so famous. Even my um, uh, even daughter friends. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's these old knitting ladies. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, like, I, I don't know what, I forgot. But um, I'll, I'll go in later. I know my husband went downstairs, so I just, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, <coughs> uh, I've been, you know, I posted in our group if you guys want to want to meet up. Um, you know, we're meeting at noon. I don't know where yet, like in the Knit City area. Mm -hmm. But we're going to post where exactly. But what I would suggest is grabbing food before you meet us, and then maybe we can go to... In the back, there's an area, I think, and we can just do a lottery and eat the food, like eat our lunch around noon. Because I know a lot of people are doing classes, and some people that are in our group are volunteers, and so uh, they yeah, take breaks. Yeah. And it's sort of, uh, I know everyone's going to be, it's maybe, getting more and more exciting every year. So Maybe we need to make, um, uh, I suggest, Jenny, we should wear some tags with a name, but yeah. I think maybe we should make a small, like, you know, poster. Poster? and said like a uh, knit city sweater or something like this it, it would be uh, you know easy to notice us there's my husband I'm uh, gonna get my part uh, my... easy to notice us instead of you know some people don't uh, um, uh, don't see very well so when when they start looking at our tag so better maybe to have a, a bigger bigger sign that's who we are like dry city needs oh uh, yeah maybe we should put dry city needs uh, not a uh, need city sweater but dry city well we have a logo 
for a, for a sweater. <gasps> Why? Right? So, oh. Yeah, we can just print it out. Yes, exactly, and we can laminate it. And yeah, it's easy. We should. I mean, the thing is, is I'm a little bit concerned about how people are gonna recognize us. Or how am I gonna recognize people? Because I don't know what anyone looks like except for. Uh, no, if you if we yeah. make a sign, I think they can. I think can it'll be easier. easier. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I know, I know Trish, and I know Elise, and I know f I know Christy, but she's not going to come on Saturday. So I don't really know a lot of people in person. <laughs> I mean, I well, yeah, I know some designers in person, but they're I don't think they're gonna they're gonna be at their booth. So yeah. I'm looking forward to chatting with Josie uh, Pakian and and Sylvia Salt Sweater. Uh, I think one of is she gonna have a booth? Yeah, oh. a lot of people asked me if I'm gonna have a booth, and I'm just like. I don't know like it's we should you know we should have one next year i don't know probably. you're tied to a booth though that's the problem is you kind of unless you have somebody like your daughter can help i guess yeah right yeah but someone sure. needs to be there like otherwise you're kind of tied to your product and you're standing there so i mean there's definitely um a reason to do that it's just i've just i'm lazy let's face it i'm very lazy it's a, oh you know it's a good idea I well can, yeah i mean it's um, not it's not her yeah as a volunteer and uh, she can because i know like some people they just like they have a booth and they have helpers right and they somebody helps out at the booth and and you're free to circle the market but anyways we're you know i made like i always go i go on their website every day i look at the vendors and i make a mental note who to visit but i think i'm just gonna my eyes are just gonna go like this when i come in and i'm gonna i'm just i think i'm gonna just exp <laughs> <laughs> i know if any of you boys are watching the podcast, um, this is very funny, but yarn can actually be exciting. Speaking of which, I bought that book today on my Kindle, Yarn Stash of Its Own, I think, by Clara Parks, the new book. Mm -hmm. It's pretty interesting. I started, I only read two chapters, so it's, it's pretty interesting to see the people's relationships to their stash, and I think it's not really a book about knitting. It's a book about psychology of collecting items and your attachments to them, so it's it's... I don't know. I think I think it's got more. It can apply to anything. That book. Yeah, I guess. You can just substitute yarn with like stamps, or I don't know. Oh yeah, but it's stamps, unfortunately, <laughs> don't take so much. Many space. excuses. Many <laughs> excuses in the book for justifying your stash were like, what if there's apocalypse or you know sheep don't oh, have wool anymore actually or... good yeah for us and uh, there is no um, manufacturer uh, anymore so people uh, and people skilled like us would be very very valuable anyways um it's a, it's a light read uh i don't know if it's worth it to get the book in its paper form because again i don't have a lot of room i'd rather have room for stash so I get most of my books on Kindle or, you know, electronic format, but except it's a knitting book. I like actual knitting books. No, I don't like um, electronic format. Well, books, I take honestly. I take the bus, right? So for me, it's actually easier to just buy it on Kindle and read it while I'm on the bus. You need on the bus. Do you have a time? For... Sometimes I don't. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's hard to knit because if you're sitting in a chair that's open and you put your purse on your lap, start knitting, everything falls out. You need to be in a kind of a... Yeah, uh, close yeah. area, but yeah. you can always carry uh, some small, very small. Oh yeah, I do, I do knit, but then I, you know, I like to take breaks here and and then, and you know, that's how I read all the Clint Eastwood biographies. <laughs> yeah, that's how I take break from knitting, and that's what I do. But uh, anyways, um, so yeah, I made I made a mental note to visit. Well, a lot of yarn dyers. I'm really excited about seeing you know dyers that we haven't seen last year. Yarn Inc is coming again. Yeah, I'm planning. Yeah, there's to a lot buy of people some. that were there before. You know, I don't know if I have any business buying yarn anymore, though. But um, I always leave the festival with a couple of skeins. I never, I never, I'm not one of these people that has like a, a lot of yarn because I buy yarn every week. So I don't, I never buy a lot of yarn at the festival. But uh, I always buy something. But it's good to buy, <clears throat> for example, from our Canadian vendors uh, mm -hmm. because the shipping is uh, very expensive. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really disappointed that Indigo Dragonfly is not coming. I don't know. She's by the way, she's part of that book too. Oh, yeah. 
I so haven't she gotten has to that part. Well, she talks about, you know, I mean, she's been dying yarn for like 25 years, right? And uh, like I said, I was very impressed with the, how color fast it was and it's red dye. It's just like, I won't forget that. <laughs> I was like, wow, nothing in the water? After like the bad experience I had with Madeline Tosh three years ago, two years ago, whatever. Yeah, she's not. Oh, you know year. what? I blocked um, because I did the color work uh, with this um, Spanish um, mm -hmm. Spanish um, yarn I I got, and I have a like real white yeah. and a pinkish, and I have a, like not a burgundy, um, like brown. No, 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 no. It's a Red reddish uh, kind of a wine. Um, like really mm -hmm. really red dark and it didn't run at all yeah some of them some I think some of them they do. fix well it's not so maybe much just put time I think they just put time yeah I think that Madeline Tosh perhaps they just don't bother putting time into fixing it was actually a thread in the group uh, yeah I, I um, the teacher like, gives you instructions how to fix the dye and I think it's no on midnight uh, mm -hmm. this girl <coughs> I forgot her name, um, uh, who um, uh, had baby recently. Oh, Angela? Yes. Yeah. Uh, she was trying to make a sweater for her son, and I think it was uh, blue. Mm -hmm. Blue, and she want to do some color work or stripe, I don't remember. And she tried everything to stop run, um, it didn't work? Uh, yarn running. Yeah. I didn't. Do you still attend that knit night? No, 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 because it was nice weather and Monday kind of hard for me and yeah, I stopped doing mm -hmm. uh, in spring, I think. But I, 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 I think I should start I again. should, oh, you know, we should contact her. Yeah. Because I'm sure she's busy. I don't think she's much on Ravelry or anywhere because she has three kids, right? So uh, I think, yeah, I'm going to contact her because I think she's, she went to Knit City last year. Yeah. I didn't see her there, but she told me she did. When, oh, I, met yeah, her, when can... I met her in the sushi place. <laughs> I can what... ask, um, actually, um, Susan, um, mm -hmm. the Polish girl, she always... Oh, I'd love to it meet her. The... It just feels like we don't really... We don't hang out at all with other people, right? So, because everyone's busy and everyone's got, you know, their life going on. And, yeah, uh, she comes to Nitsi, right? Oh, remember those two girls we met uh, on um, Fiber West? Uh, one you said make a nice um, photograph, and she actually asked you. Uh, she oh Maple yes, Ridge yes, yes, yes. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot to tag Jenna. Jenna is the the other girl. She was actually the uh, the red haired one mm -hmm. from uh, Pip Meadows. Mm -hmm. She actually knitted her sweater. The first sweater and and she tagged me on instagram several times uh, yeah you know what i need to make a mental note to contact them because I, I don't I, think I see like what's you. happening right now there are a lot of people not on ravelry a lot a lot of people are on instagram and so when you're organizing something you kind of have to bridge both like, bridge the gap because i think a lot of people like ravelry i think requires a lot more time investment to get familiar with a website where instagram you just take your phone take a picture and, yeah, and you're it. out there right so um oh stitch mischief I should message her too. Right. But I think she's gonna be there both days. Actually, I'm not sure. She doesn't have a booth. But she might with next. So many, she might next year. Uh, with so many kids, and no, I think you should well, ask her, her when. Yeah, no, I will. I'll message. I'll message her. I'll message her. her. Uh, but uh, yeah, I was disappointed that she doesn't have a booth. But uh, maybe next year. Mm, yeah. yeah. Maybe next year. She's the dyer that provided scheme for the for our uh, shawl shawl well, yeah. uh, shawl prize right, just, yeah. her colors are just oh yeah even i like her colors and I, i'm not really a color person so i should start knitting the... yeah i have i have a plan that i'm gonna start more shawls in the in the spring because right now i'm i'm trying to switch to sweaters because i'm just all shawled out I have another project I have to do, I have to start for Craftsy as well, which is, I'm kind of excited about because it's a gradient and I love gradients, but other than that, I'm trying to kind of, I don't have a shawl at the moment on my needles. Oh, I won't do yeah. um, uh, color, color work sweater for Craftsy because I like this yarn <coughs> I got from them, this DK mm -hmm. uh, Highland? Highlander? Highland, yeah. Is it just Highland. wool? Yeah, it's just wool. Yeah. Because I got some samples from them for alpaca wool, which I really like too. I gotta come up with something. 
Opaka, you know? I found that opaca yeah. too warm for me. It should be like really, really cold. Uh, usually yeah, my, warm. Yeah, my warm. alpaca sweater um, where my daughter during her ski outing you know it's funny i actually have an alpaca sweater from a, um from a, a lamb alpaca like mm. if you were a pure mm -hmm. alpaca yarn that they had it's not baby alpaca it's just regular alpaca because it's got like long guard hairs i don't think it's warm it's i wouldn't say it's it's warm it's fine. I mean, it's a no, it's, it's a much wool sweater. Compared to but me. for me, like Lopi is warmer than that sweater, that particular sweater. No, I don't right? know. Right. So it's it's interesting because I've got some. I don't have a lot of alpaca in my stash actually. I've got a lot of like drops alpaca, which is thin. So I mean, that's pretty much the only reference point of reference I have. But I don't really. If you were, you know, what's warm is BFL is warm too. Oh, yeah. Really? Blue oh. face. Leicester or whatever, it's warm too. It's supposed to be warm. That's what I keep hearing from everybody. I mean, so yeah. Because when you wear the alpaca hat compared to wool hat, oh, I always yes, sweat. Yeah. Always yeah. Sweat. I have a hat that's 50-50 alpaca and wool from a Drops uh, Nepal, mm -hmm. and it's it always leaves like my my forehead is red. It's like so itchy, but I still love it. I still wear it. Yeah, it's uh, definitely, maybe it's just a land alpaca is just not as warm, I don't know. But that's like, that's, it's a sweater with a collar, with like a, like it's, it's Ready, like, you mean? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. ready, yeah. So it's got like a, a lot of fabric around the neck and it's, it's, it's supposed it's, to be super warm. Yeah, no, that alpaca is, and I started wearing something underneath to kind of keep it warmer. And it, I mean, it's not, it's not a sweater that's cold. No, I mean, it's good. It's like a wool sweater, but it's not, I wouldn't say it's like I'm sweating in it kind of sweater. But mm. I want to work with Lopi too. And I see a lot of Pluto Lopi being used now too. Like people are really starting to get into, you know, real, like real wool. So, I mean, yeah, I need to do a lot of things, but I'm just... I think Knit City, when when you come, your plans usually change and everything gets. Oh yeah. You see all this stuff like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that. Everything flushing. Everything just changes and everything. But I've got I've got some kind of plan right now what I want to work on and I don't know like designers that do this full time they're kind of I don't know how they do it. You have to be really really on track. Really really kind of focused on the, your path, yeah, right? You, you can't do, yeah. you can't just like buy everything in sight and you know. Oh yeah, for sure. Mm. You have it's to have good. a bit, it's called a business plan, something I don't have. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm spontaneous person, so for me business plan... Well, this plan is because we... Sounds yeah. like boring. Well, you and I have a full-time job, so that's why, you know, we can be spontaneous in this, but if someone's doing it as their full-time income, I don't think they can be spontaneous. I think they usually have a plan. Oh, yeah. Of some kind to kind of... To kind of I'm know. not a businesswoman, so no, neither am I. Neither am I, yeah, because it's just it's kind of, yeah, there's a lot of figures, a lot of analysis, and a lot of stuff, boring stuff. I'm just not interested in, I just want to knit, yeah. <laughs> I, re you know, what I remember what this boy told me about this podcast very impressive, and I, I want to ask him what, what impressive, you know, maybe he was just, he was just being nice. And maybe, but it's impressive. It's not what you're telling about our podcast. Yeah, he's just being, he's just being nice. Very impressive. It's sitting, uh, try sitting in podcast. Very impressive. Do they like in your daughter's school? Do they have like some kind of crafting classes for kids? Like maybe they knit there. No, not knit. I know for for sure they have uh, sewing lessons. Which swimming? No, sewing. Sewing, oh, okay. sewing. Yeah, yeah. And some of the girls uh, from actually from her um, friends group, mm -hmm. uh, uh, she actually likes mm -hmm. to make clothes. And she's not like you know some girls take this as an easy class. No, she's brilliant. She's first in everything. She way ahead on mm -hmm. all subject on science, math, wow. and she create. She took some summer classes just to create a spot for her to attend mm -hmm. this class. So she's wow, that's really someone's really motivated. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think sewing is actually a lot more useful than knitting. Depends. Well, you can make anything you want. Uh, you can make jeans. You can make this. 
you know like it's it's a lot more it's fast it's faster too yeah it's true way faster like way faster so anyway uh, go back to our so we, we we're really excited we're gonna be there on friday we're gonna be there on the for, for Stephen West lecture. Yeah. I've never been to a lecture before. I've never taken a class before. I've never it's gonna be interesting to actually be in a room with a lot of knitters, which is something I've never done <gasps> yeah. before. So because I it's it's more of a solitary thing for me. Nobody in my house knits and I don't really know a lot of people who knit. So you it's, it's, want it's to have of, like you, your husband and your son sitting all next knitting. to you. Oh. Yeah. But in, like, yeah, look. so it's it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. And um, I don't really know what lecture involves. I'm I'm not sure if it's just. It's not a class, so it's just people talking. I don't I don't know, or him talking, I guess. Or oh, you know, uh, last time when I um, was um, attending my lectures was like uh, oh, I don't even want to tell about how university long. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, no, it's not the same. But yeah, I'm guessing it's sort of but the it's same. Lecture, yeah. I think I guess he's gonna talk and. Um, yeah, I mean, but um, so we're gonna be there Friday and Saturday for sure. Sunday, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure if we're gonna. Be I don't know. Sunday. It's it depends how. how it depends. It yeah, goes. it depends. Depends if we actually have time to see everything, and we feel like we've, you know, we've seen everything and talked to everybody who we wanted to talk. But it's it's that it, yeah. I know I can't really take a whole weekend to be absent. For a knitting event, it doesn't happen very often, but yeah. Oh, you don't know yet. Maybe they give you this kind of present. Oh yeah, present. Yeah, we're considering going to uh, Seattle Bog Knitting Live, but that's that's a lot of work. I thought maybe mm. we can, if you make an effort, we can uh, kind of uh, drive on Saturday early, like six. Six, six in the morning. Six in the morning, yeah, and there is no gonna be people on the road, so mm -hmm. we can easy just you and I. Yeah. Oh drive yeah, sure. There. Yeah, that's fine. And then yeah. yeah, come back on Sunday morning. Not yeah. Sunday. We will. Go oh, it's like same same Saturday day. Saturday night. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Like nine o'clock. Yeah. No, if that's what you want, we can. I can do it. I'll get up at five for a knitting event. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, how we'll it see. Goes. It's not and like the yeah. tickets aren't sold out. It's not like a theater or anything like that. But yeah, so, you know, are you excited about fall? No, I don't want to fall. I want to yeah. summer. Really? Be forever. Yeah, yeah. This is so surprising because she always complains it's too hot. Uh, no, I don't want a hot summer. I just want summer. I want a sun, long mm. days. Uh, uh, I know. Green I know. trees, uh, fruit. I bet you this is the last berries. podcast yes. this year that you outside. see us outside because yeah. I think it's already getting to the point where we're gonna be inside in my basement next podcast, and the lighting isn't gonna be as good. We're trying. Speaking of um, something interesting to watch out for, the knitting show or knitting show, whatever. Um, Vicky Howell, who used to have a nitty gritty like about ten years ago mm -hmm. on one of the major TV networks, is like she retired that show because I guess it didn't have much viewership but what happened was that now she's seen all the rise in the podcasts and she did a Kickstarter to back her up in a studio quality podcast and it's coming on YouTube oh yeah interesting so, very interesting it might have been already started because I don't really keep track of a lot of things but I do watch the craftsy knitting podcast every Friday or so like sometimes mm -hmm. I miss an episode here and there but um, but yeah, it's uh, and I and I really like uh, fruit and knitting podcast because it they have a lot of interviews. Oh, I didn't have a yeah. chance. I I when you told me about um, Hoki, I I yeah. well that I was a long time this, ago, yeah. And I they they've interviewed a lot of people since then, so it's interesting. That's what I find the most interesting is just to to get the like perspective of other people in the industry and see what they're how they're operating and you know. That's, that's the content I'm interested in. Okay, show what okay. Um, stash we're gonna, you got. We're going to do a yarn, and after showing my yarn, I, you're going to say that I have no business buying new yarn. Actually, I'm going to show you my whip first. I started a cardigan for Elena's niece from her yarn that she dyed for me last year. And they can reproduce this color, I think. 
It's called Puppy Love. It's, it's just a gorgeous pink. I, I love this. And this is actually BFL, so you can touch oh. it. This is BFL, and it feels like real wool. And this is super wash. It, it does have a little bit of a super wash quality. And it's to not it. just the pink. Uh, no, no, it's a variegated it's pink. With, uh, some it's cream gray. Gray variegated. It's a, it's a really lovely color. Yeah. So I'm um, knitting this, and hopefully I'll be done. Oh, and I'm using Licky Needles. I oh. bought some tips. Yeah. Um, and uh, very photogenic needles. So hopefully it'll be done soon. It's not. It's not a lot of knitting. I just maybe don't... I should buy some tips. You can buy uh... tips, and this is the cable. Like I said, the cable is uh, my old my knit row cable. Knit row, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So they work fine. So you just you don't even need to buy. Cables. Who has the tips in? Uh, I bought area? actually here in Canada. Uh, she just stocked them. It's uh. Wolf and Hound. A wolf and I'll give you. $75 free shipping, Canadian. And her tips are actually cheaper. Okay. They're cheaper because she charges Canadian price. And the, I bought these in the set? US. Huh? It's a set? Why no, 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 no. It's just one pair No, of no, no. Her shipping. If you purchase ah, $75 okay. worth. But what I would buy. Oh, the tip is 7 bucks Canadian. Oh. Okay. Yeah. You don't have to buy $75 worth. So we don't have it in uh, like in a, Oh, you know what? I think somebody at Knit City may have it. Oh, oh. Yeah. Right. You might want to watch out for that because I think that Valley Yarns have them and But yeah. they have a set, not it yet. Is, yeah, see that's the thing is the tips are kind of hard to come by. I bought these in the States from an obscure shop. Cheers to you, I think they're called. Like all the other places including French Supply had them sold out. I just bought three tips. Did you try Amazon? No, no. They don't have them on they Amazon. Don't have yeah, I just because I don't need the whole set. I use US four, US five, and US six. That's the only needles I, I use. Need only US four and US six. So I'm just I just bought three tips. But uh, so that's what I'm working on. I, this is one day progress. So hopefully it'll fly by. Yeah, it's going. Bus progress mm -hmm. only on the bus, and then. Um, and then other projects I can't show you, but I did finish this wrap for Machete Shop, which is oh, huge. Oh, you said you couldn't find your object. Here is your <sighs> object. Well, this is it right there. So I finished that and my cat ruined it and I had to fix oh, it. Oh, come on. Uh, it, yeah. it didn't. Uh... She ruined it. I had to fix mm. it. I fixed it. It took me an hour, about an hour to fix it. So this is sort of a interesting shape that is sort of familiar but sort of not I could you know I kind of experimented with the shaping here a little bit um, and I used her kit in the doesn't same fit, it doesn't fit the screen sorry no no yeah. it's, it's actually quite yeah it's quite long but I, I used her kit as she recommended it so I used the colors exactly as she as Position. she she positioned them and I and I really I really like it this is for me you know I really like wraps like stones like rectangular wraps and I blocked it with wires and uh, the result is much better than blocking it the usual way but it took me two hours to thread the wires because the, with the wires if you kind of block them too tight then it's like this right so you have to make sure you space it out properly but uh, so you know if you intend to block Lots something with wires then you have to set the time for it you know it, it, um, but um, it's 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 just they were left over from Elena's stash, and so I'm kind of contemplating selling them, and I don't think she's ever used them because I she didn't mention anything to me, and they looked like they were brand new, they were tied up in the with the original packaging. So um, I might still sell them, but I'm, I haven't made a decision yet, and I'm still knitting my bulky cardigan. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Three weeks ago, I said, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna be done." It's yeah. gonna be done by the end yeah. of August. Yeah. Instead of sweater freak, I should be slow freak. <laughs> yeah, you should rename yourself. It's yeah. true. Okay, show you. So, but I did. I did buy some yarn, which is my next project. Um, it's a it's a local knitter. And now, if she's listening, or if any of you are listening, please correct me. I think it's Joma, but it might be Yoma. So I don't know how she pronounces it. And this is just a gorgeous color. I this is not me at all, and I don't have anything like this in my stash. And and uh, but I have to have. How it's come you painting. didn't make a swatch yet? No, I, I have because I, I, went, I went away for a week. Uh, right. So I have to. This is next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unwind this yarn and the next yarn and swatch them up. And I think I'm gonna start them at the same time. 
see which one I can finish first. This is sort of a, I think it's a decay weight. It's sort of sport decay. So I, you know, and, um, and I got a complimentary scheme from her, which I'm going to turn into a hat. Yeah, it's a nice one. It's a nice one because and it's, it's a single it, ply. Yeah, oh. it's and it it's got a lot of gray, which I like. So and the colors are kind of toned down a little bit. They're not you know too rainbowy. So I'm I'm uh, and I love single ply. I just love single ply. I will pick single ply if I if I can. Is this fingering thing or it's no? Decay. It's, it's decay. decay. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. decay. Yeah, it's worsted actually. Oh. I bet you when you start knitting, because it feels very kind of voluminous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, puffy. Yeah, marshmallow. So she's from Vancouver Island. I'm gonna she's put from, the link. Uh, yes. she's, 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 she's gonna be. She's gonna be at Knit City. Alberta, she's yeah. gonna be at Knit City. She's okay. gonna, yeah. So um, you know, she always she came last year too, but I had to leave. I had to, I didn't see half the people. So, and then I also have a collaboration coming up with Tuscan Knits. She's the new hot knitter on the block, I think, because. Uh, she's like a lot of buzz around her, and I just love this label. Yeah, yeah, Look at she this has label. a very nice. And her label. colors are just beautiful. So I have um, gotten some yarn from her for a cardigan, sleeveless cardigan, and I just love this color. So these two, I'm gonna swatch up. This is then, and you can tell I'm all about green these days. For sure. Is that Brooklyn? Yeah. No, uh, show this fleece. Uh... Oh yeah, another thing is when I was away, I went to Washington State, um, uh, and um, it's sort of a touristy place where we went, Leavenworth, uh, Washington. So it's it's a Bavarian village um, that's like they have a lot of European food and European sweets, and it looks like a Bavarian village. It's actually a ski slope there. You actually yeah. didn't tell me, did you go for any bakery stuff? Uh, uh, yeah, there's a lot of... Um, I didn't because I'm always watching calories. So I know, you didn't try lie. any... They have, a lot of, they have a lot of chocolate and fudge and like this stuff that they dip, like they dip things into. Like it's it's just too rich for me. Like I'm, I'm but not... But what about some cakes or cookies? We, you know or... what? We really should have done that. That's something you I told you. I forgot. You told you know why? me you're gonna do You know this. why? Because my son loves chocolate ice cream and we went chocolate ice cream every night. So after to like a regular chocolate ice cream every night. Yes. Anyways, it's the quality starting to because it's it's yeah, becoming kind of yeah. grainy. But anyways, um, so I was not. I was kind of um, Jan from um, I think she lives in Renton, from Washington mm -hmm. on the sky hooked. So she, she messaged me on Instagram, she's like, is there a yarn shop there? And I'm like, well, it's funny, I haven't looked. So I looked it up, there's a yarn shop, and the address said Leavenworth. So I'm like, okay, well, it can't be that far, right? It's half an hour away, in the mountain roads. Uh -huh. Not like our mountain roads here, they're not, they're not as bad, but it's still, it's a picturesque drive, it's a nice drive, it's, but it's definitely, it's, ha it's basically half an hour away, the other way, and, and, um, you know how mountain roads, how mountain regions are. You, you can't, don't always have a highway. It goes all over. It goes only like certain, yeah. Way, right. So, um, you know, we we came back, and so we went there on the way back. And lucky for us, somebody pointed to us that we can go back through uh, the other through way. the other, and somehow she knew how to come back. Anyways, I actually wanted. I've always wanted to try peace fleece. Um, worsted, which is a, it's it's been around for a long time. There are a couple of old hippies that have. This is absolutely gorgeous color, and this 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 lighting doesn't do it justice. I mean, look at this. Yeah. Twenty five percent mohair, seventy five percent rambouille wool. These guys were doing this stuff before the breed information even became trendy. Um, and uh, their their wool comes from all over the place, but I think they started out as a during the Cold War in the eighties, and they collaborated with a Russian wool and American wool and mixed it in, and that's oh. why it's called Runo Mira. Oh. Um, I, I've never never like knit it with it, so I've always wanted to just get one skein and knit and see what it's going to be like. Um, How much? Uh, the... It's not. It's this price is the highest I've ever seen. It's usually for ten dollars on their website. If you order from them, they're they're revamping their website, which is a good thing because their their website's absolutely old looking, and like I said, they're old. They're like in their seventies, maybe I don't know. The owners, the owners, yeah, mm -hmm. they're nice. They're they're like old hippies. 
but they oh. love yarn and they, they go to Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, oh. Russia. They like, yeah, I've talked to one of them because they have this color, Volga Sippy Blue. Volga, Mississippi. Come on, like I have to. I'm from I'm from Volga River. I had to get it. And of course, when I found this color, it got discontinued. Uh. So I would join their group, and I'm like, you have to bring this color back, because I'm from there, and I just need that color for the label. I'm gonna keep the label, right? So they actually brought the color back, but the shop didn't have it. So I'm I think I'm gonna order it from there. Like I just want to see if I like this yarn and and go from there. But this this all their colors are tweed. Oh. They have gorgeous dark tweeds like you wouldn't. They're so underrated. I mean, there's a lot of people on Ravelry that knit with their yarn, and this isn't the soft yarn by any means. Like, touch it. It's not It's not soft. No, I, but it's I, fine. I, I mean, it's for us, it's fine. But there's, seriously, guys, like, Peace Fleece, if you like nice, wooly, hardy yarn, this is the yarn to get. Very reasonably priced. Tons of colors. Just their, their um, palette of, of tweeds is just amazing. And, uh, I think I think this will become a hat or a cowl or something because I just I just got one like I said I got some Brooklyn tweed but this was two months ago and I'm still not sure if I'm gonna distash it or not this is loft and it's uh, a little bit more yellow than this color yeah you yeah. can but it's still it's still a nice color and I got uh, basically like the color work to complement but I'm, I haven't decided yet so I just brought it out to show that I'm all about the green these days and <laughs> Look, look at this. This is ridiculous. All green. It's Everything is green. Well, oh, I got I some brown. I got some brown, too, but I, I'm not sure I'm going to use this. I might... I'm still through going through the process of um, culling my stash, as Stephanie Paul McPhee calls it. So I'm, I actually have donated a lot of my yarn and, and sold some of my yarn in the last month and a half. So I'm, I'm going through kind of renew, renew process with some things I know I'm not going to work with. And, yeah. I don't have anything else to show. Okay. Uh, She's more excited. I have. Um, I have. I'm gonna have this chip. Yarn. This chip is addictive. Mm, I have a book mm. collection. Oh my god. Uh, it's a 50 alpaca, 25 linen, and 25 silk. I wanna try this base for a long, long time. This is. Oh my god. And mm. feel it. Feel it. It's like oh my a baby. God. Oh my god. But it's also hardy. It's going to it's going to have a lot of good drape. Yeah, the color calls uh oh, it's something something weird. I think their colors are weird. Their names, the color uh, names are weird. Cannot find it. But uh, this specific color is has really really weird name. Cannot... So you just got two skeins. Oh, you're waiting for more. I mm. yeah, I order more, but I I didn't have a chance to grab more. I, th I was lucky enough to get those. It's, uh, so you want to make a sweater? Uh, yes, mm -hmm. I want to make a sweater. And uh, uh, the other one, it's kind of... Um, I uh, asked her to dye for me grayish blue. So I think it's going to be... Yeah. Well, this yeah. goes with everything. Yeah. See, like, I used to not like colors like this. Because I thought, okay, well, this is... How am I, what am I going to do? But now... I realize that this kind of yarn you can actually pair up with anything you want. And it's everything. not gonna be too yeah. bright. I, I saw the project with um, a specific uh, this color. And Does she have repeatable colorways or yes. is it she does? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I think her yarn I'm gonna start working and I think in you're January. Gonna be I'm, yeah. jealous. I got from um, Cats River Studio, oh. I got it's a linen silk. It's a. Oh my god, I need this. It's for my summer top, I already planned well, wait, for she next... doesn't. Uh, you don't think she's gonna have this base in the summer? I don't know. I asked her. Maybe I need something too from her. <laughs> she dyed this for me. She didn't have this uh, color. Uh, you in... know what? I think it's too soft for me. There's too much silk here. I think I would prefer it's something a... crisp. 50, 50. I want something crisper. I think that silk, silk is tricky. Like this yarn is actually 30% silk, but because of the wool. It still feels like touch it like it still feels like it's a little bit of bite like it's this is very soft we'll see we'll see how uh, no i don't think you the like linen, it um, uh, linen will do the trick linen will uh, keep the shape uh, oh it'll keep the shape it's just it just feels too um i don't know i like i like toothy yarn toothy yarn but you haven't heard that expression before <laughs> 
But it's for summer. It's from you, Jane. actually. It's true. I do have linen from, remember we bought it, you were with me at the computer? We bought it together. It means one of us was buying and another one was standing over her. Uh, remember that uh, the Turkish company, the Fibra Natura? Yeah. The yeah. light blue linen? I have that still and I have to use that for my, my next summer net. I, I, I like so I start I start knit my new sweater from the humming bee farm mm -hmm. yarn you should tag her on Instagram and it's I started today I, I gifted her this yarn because I know she wanted something oh my god look at this fabric it is so light I can't knit with um, woolen spun well, and besides you know what you're a faster knitter anyway so yeah i'm gonna have something oh, it's, done. and it's you know what you guys have this to, one this one is, is soft soft you know what you guys have to finish this it. one is not no i think it's, it's not no, as it's, soft but this it's is softer but you know what they're different sheep this is the yeah thing. i know and that's why there's very that's why i start yeah. from softer to have uh, on the color oh my god do you mind if I knit a few stitches yeah, to see if yeah. I can work with this kind and of yarn? And oh, my, no, yeah. my goodness. This is softer than Briggs and Little. Yes, it's softer. And this is my... You know what? Maybe I'll get one scheme for myself and make mm -hmm. a hat. Just to see if I can... It doesn't seem to bother me. Like, this is better than Briggs and Little. Because Briggs and Little is how I kind of gauge the... Yeah, maybe I'll get, um, try it out because I didn't want to commit to a large project and I got this from her and you guys have to visit her booth at Knit City if you're coming. You know what, we need a quick talk. Yeah, yeah, okay. We need to wrap it up. So yeah, this is um, the body of, um, it, it's again from Cats River Studio. I finished the body and I started um, working on a, uh, on a sleeve. I didn't have enough yarn so I order, uh, order more. This I like this. I like color. I like how you do the transition. I like this. I like it. So yeah, and this is the French French shoulder. As I mentioned in the previous uh, podcast from Coco Mix. But you used a different method, did you? No. No, I used same. the same. It's mm -hmm. a contiguous method, but just uh, for the back. And oh, okay. Then Slightly, I yeah, not the, quite the same as Coco Knit. Oh, so you're done with the front, with the with the. Yes, I did everything. Oh it's only sleeve um, left. She's not officially on the sleeve island. She is so fast, mm. honestly. And um, yeah, it's about that's about it. I have uh, two shawls, but I didn't bring them because uh, I, I I'm not sure if I wanna do the cowl mm -hmm. and cowl. I do, I'm not sure, so that's why I'm not flushing. I'm not. I'm gonna have a. A knit along in December, collaboration with Louie. Mm. And that's as far as my neck accessories go until the end of this year. I'm not starting any more shawl. Anyways, the color, the, the quality is completely degrading now, so we have to go. We have, okay. to, we have to come up with a better solution for the quality, you guys. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, but we started when it was um, absolutely good. We started well. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely good, but anyway, it's getting dark. Yeah, so um, see you. Ethnicity. We're gonna have a Knit City episode too. We're gonna record there. Yeah, for yeah, sure. We're gonna bring this and record there too. It's not gonna be a long podcast episode. But. And maybe we should record how we do this lottery or, you know, with. Um, I don't know if that's very interesting. I think we should just record talking like different, like. Actually, I don't know if uh, I What wanna... about if the just, people just... come to the, in their sweaters and we should. Uh, record then we should do this. that. Mm. We we actually should ask, ask them, them to come in their sweaters. Come in yeah, sweaters. we didn't we didn't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should we should do this. Yeah. Okay. Mental note for me to earborn more people, and to ask them and to come ask in their them sweaters. To come in the results. Yeah. yeah. So, come in your sweaters, and watch for you know more details in the group, and hopefully we'll see you there. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>